Introducing the Sayerite 111 sewing machine. It's a full-size straight stitch commercial sewing machine that features a compound walking foot. Sayerite 111 sewing machines are fully tuned and adjusted by qualified Sayerite technicians. This package includes the MCSER power system. The MCSER power system is a silicon controlled rectifier. This solid state controller with 120 volt DC motor is compact, powerful, and offers much greater slow speed control and power than the clutch motor or even a servo motor. Try doing that on a servo motor. Let's start out with eight layers of Sunbrella fabric and this extra heavyweight nylon webbing. Walks right over it beautifully. This is using that MCSER power system. Let's walk over that bump in reverse. Look at that stitch. This is a compound walking foot sewing machine capable of an eight millimeter long straight stitch. Let's take a look at that fabric. No skip stitches on the top side and the bottom side is nice and neat. Good stitch tension. We're using a V92 thread. Here's eight layers of Sunbrella with four layers on top of that, making 12 layers. We can go back and forth over this assembly without breaking needles. And with the MCSCR power system, we can do one stitch at a time. You've got tons of power and we're not touching that balance wheel. Let's fold another eight layer marine canvas assembly together and put this 40 gauge Strataglass, which is a vinyl window material, folded twice into the assembly and let's sew through that. Punches right through. Here to the right of the sewing machine is the reverse lever. We put it in reverse and walk over that assembly in reverse. No skip stitches, no broken needles. Looks good on the top and the bottom side as well. Get your work done quickly. No need to reach behind the machine to lift up the presser foot. You can use this built-in knee lift. It'll lift the foot up to 13 millimeters in height. That's an extra high lift for thick assemblies. Here we're using the knee lift for quick turns. The needle's buried and we lift the foot and pivot on the needle. This is great for high production where you don't have to reach behind the machine to lift a lever. Your stitch length is adjusted here, all the way from 8 millimeters to anything down to zero. Here we are sewing a 6 millimeter. Here we're setting the machine in about a 3 millimeter straight stitch. Feeding sticky materials like this Naugahyde Universal is no problem. We folded it to eight layers. And because it's a compound walking foot machine, it grabs the material from both top and bottom and pulls it through effortlessly. Let's ramp up that speed a little bit. Beautiful job. Here's a five ounce leather. Let's fold it to four layers and feed it through the sewing machine. This is a pretty chunky piece of leather. This is a chrome leather that Sarah Wright sells. It'll walk through this beautifully. We're just using a standard Sharpie needle. We also sell specialized needles for leather as well, but we've not installed it for this demo. Works great with a standard needle size 20. Let's take a look at the bottom side as well. Nice tight stitch. This is a number five marine zipper. No need to change the foot or put in a roping zipper foot. Those feet are available if you'd like. You can sew close enough to a small zipper without changing the foot. This is the standard foot. Does a nice job. Remove the standard foot that comes with the machine and install a cording foot and you're ready to do piping and welting. Sayerite sells many different colors of vinyl piping. You can also make your own using this cording foot. All you need to do is put the piping, this is a prefabricated piping that Sayerite sells, underneath the tunnel and sew. You'll have beautiful cushions and upholstery jobs in seconds. This sewing machine with the cording foot works excellently. The cording foot is sold separately. Let's take a look at that cording. 
Did a nice job, sewed right next to the piping. Uh, this Airite 111 comes with an industrial size bobbin and bobbin winder. You can wind bobbins while you're sewing or lift your foot and wind bobbins without sewing. After the bobbin's full, place it in the bobbin case. Then underneath the sewing machine, there is an oil pan. This machine is fully lubricated with an oil pump, but there's a hole here that you can install the bobbin case. No need to tilt the machine up. So far, everything in this video has been done with the standard balance wheel as seen here at the right of the sewing machine. If you want optimal slow speed control and extreme power in thick assemblies, you may want to consider adding the Power Plus balance wheel. This upgrade replaces the original balance wheel on the machine with a much larger one. The normal V-belt drive system is also replaced with a cog timing belt that absolutely prevents slippage. Let's show you the difference. So now what I'm going to do here is I just want to show you the slow speed control that you get out of this system. I mean you can literally creep one stitch at a time just by pushing down gently on the foot control. And if you want to go nice and slow, I never have to touch that flywheel. I can just barely push down on the foot control and you can see that I can just very easily operate at a nice slow controllable rate of speed. If you want to sew one stitch at a time just push the foot control down slightly. Try doing that on a servo motor. Extreme slow speed and then if I want to go faster of course I can ramp it up but I've got enormous amounts of slow speed control here. Tilt the machine up and you can see the oil pan with the oil pump here. The Sailrite 111 in stand with MCSCR power system comes with everything you see here. It also includes Sailrite's exclusive DVD for the Sailrite 111, which makes sewing machine setup and use easy. Every aspect of assembly and machine adjustment, including timing, is fully described and shown in high quality video. Thanks for watching this video. Order your Sailrite 111 today. I'm Eric Grant with Sailrite.